Here you go. Backlog! 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 Yeah. Hey guys. It's Will. Hey. <laughs> Backlog time! Welcome to the Backlog, a segment of the Wolf Den Podcast, where we go through our entire video game collection, every game we've ever bought over the past 37 years, because I'm 37 years old today, MFers, uh, we put into an Excel spreadsheet, and today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we have played it. And the random number we're picking is 468. 68. And that is Guitar Hero 2 for the PlayStation 2. Okay. This is a good one. That's a good one. Yes. Uh, why is this better than Guitar Hero 1? I know it is, but why? Uh, for me, it was better because it had a practice mode. <laughs> okay. Oh, so like, you can not so like, lose the the. So I can like actually... Song? Yeah, because like we didn't have Guitar Hero 1, but like we we knew at least like a handful of people who did, and we'd go to their house, and we'd play, and we'd like, oh, this game's kind of cool. Yeah, oh, that the- was back when I was like, I'm a drummer, so I got the rhythm, and yeah. like no one else could be as and good as me. And that was back when like I was a guitar player, and I'm like, oh, they made a video game just for me. That's cool. It's nothing like playing real guitar. I know that. <laughs> playing Madden is not no, like playing real football. Playing drums made it easier yeah. for me, I felt like, until... Guitar Hero 2 came out and it became a lot more popular and people got really good at Guitar yeah. Hero. And then I was suddenly really bad yeah. at Guitar Hero. So we missed the boat on Guitar Hero 1, but we knew Guitar Hero 2 was coming out. And I'm like, I want that one. And so we got Guitar Hero 2. And for PlayStation? For play- yeah, because it came out on PS2. Oh. Yeah, 1 and 2 were PS2 games. Uh, so we got Guitar Hero 2 and we played Guitar Hero 2 and it was fun. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. this was just a guitar. Just this, the this was the apex of the popularity of of guitar stuff. Yes, it was all downhill from here. <laughs> well, this was like, I, I guess you could say in its purest form. Yes, because like it's still kind of that underground feeling. All the songs, except for like I think uh, two, are covers. Still, they still don't have the money for like the master rights. Aside from I think uh, Jane's Addiction and. I want to say uh, Primus. I could be wrong. What was Dragon Force on? Three. They were on three? They were on three. Wow. Yeah. I thought they were on one or two. No. Just looking up the set list. I mean, look, if you play one of these games, you played them all. Uh, you got the, the notes highway come up. And you have to hit the right color on the deck of the guitar as corresponding on the screen. Uh, Because it's a guitar, you also have to strum. uh, So that adds a little bit of complexity to it. It was the quintessential rhythm game that that started the, uh, I mean, Guitar Hero 1 was already popular, but this like just skyrocketed the popularity. Yeah. And then uh, after this, they burned it to the ground. They released every possible version of Guitar Hero. What happened was this is an Activision Activision bought uh, Red Octane, who made the guitar peripheral for Guitar Hero. And with that came the license to Guitar Hero. And when Activision got their hands on it, they did what they always do and made it an annual franchise and ran the fucker into the ground. So that's why I would say after Guitar Hero 3, they all just went downhill from there. Uh, this is back when the, they were still like vaguely independent and could like get away with a lot more stuff. And then there was just landfills of plastic peripherals. Yes. Now it's kind of hard to find a guitar, but yeah. back then, like 10 years ago or mm-hmm. so, or maybe 15 years ago, it was hard to get rid of a guitar. Yeah. No one wanted it. Inc- it's incredible how things have changed. I know. Uh, yeah. I mean, th- th- I this was a great idea and a great type yeah. of game. It's just unfortunate that there was like 20 damn games that were exactly like this yeah. released within a five year period. And like this, so Guitar Hero 2 actually also came out on the Xbox 360. Uh, but those are the only two systems that like got this game. And the PS2, like, yeah, it got Guitar Heroes and Rock Bands for a while, but like, you couldn't carry your songs over 
from game to game. So like this sort of just became like lost to time when every new Guitar Hero would come out on the PS2 or even on you know the 360 version, which stinks because this had one of the best set lists of any uh, rhythm game of its time or ever really. You know, I'm looking at it now. It it only had like like what 40 games. I have 40 songs? Yeah, 40 songs. Yeah, that's not a lot. No. But, like, they're all good. It had very good songs. Yeah. That, that, again, they were also all uh, covers, aside from, yeah, it was, like, uh, two of them. Stop by Jane's Addiction and John the Fisherman by Primus were the only two original songs. Uh, the 360 version also had um, original versions of Dead by My Chemical Romance and uh, Possum Kingdom by the Toadies. Would you say this is the best version of Guitar Hero? I don't know. I, like, the set list is good, and it's got, like, the quintessential rock songs, but I don't know if it's the best set list. Uh, yeah, that, that's... I mean, it's... It's the best of the classic-style Guitar Hero. The, the thing is, like, once they started copying rock bands, like, it's the... It sort of got, like, diluted, because, like, Guitar Hero 5 is also a great game, but... You know, why play that when Rock Band was there and just better, you know? Uh, then they did, then they, like, Guitar Hero Metallica was also good, but you should not give money to Metallica, so there's <laughs> that. You know, I would say this is the the last pure Guitar Hero. The last, like, good Guitar Hero. Not the last good Guitar Hero, but the last, like, Guitar Hero that could stand on its own without, like asterisks or like whatnot going about it. I assume it. Guitar Hero 3 had more actual songs on it, right? Not yeah. just covers? Yeah, it had more I covers. Think Guitar yeah. Hero 3 might have the better set The thing list. about Guitar Hero 3, though, is like it was the first one made by Neversoft, mm -hmm. and like they tried to add like a lot of like features, like a battle mode, and I think like they overcomplicated things by making a lot of songs unnecessarily harder. Like the big, the big finale in Guitar Hero 3 was a guitar cover of Devil Went Down to Georgia. It's a great version of that song, but I think that was their way of like trying to overcomplicate it and make it like a real like I don't want to say the Dark Souls of rhythm games, but like that's what the well, mentality that's, was. That's what happened, and I th right. I, I well, don't that's think that's what, so bad. That's what because <sighs> because then forgot, you got Dragon Force. Yeah, well, that got too far because what was the last Guitar Hero before it crashed? Warriors of Rock went too far in that direction and made everything way too hard to the point where the entire the entire like so, i forgot what it was side a or side b of uh rush's 2112 was the final song in the game and that's like half an hour oh my god so like <laughs> that's what i mean by like going too far whereas in guitar hero 2 the final song is free bird by leonard skinner that's an eight minute song and that's the classic like you know, magna opus guitar rock song. And that's like the max you want to be playing a Guitar Hero song exactly. for. Because like, you got the highway coming at you and you're going to get all Guitar yeah, Hero vision. Yeah, when the guitar solo comes in and like it's a kick-ass guitar solo and you're like you're going fast and stuff. Yeah. But it's the perfect length to like, you know, play the song and complete the song and like not break down by the end of it, you know? It gives you the right amount of challenge. Is guitar what Hero 3 though. Has Long Island's own The Sleeping. That's true. Probably their most yeah. famous moment of the band's career. <laughs> <laughs> be, be it on uh, Guitar Hero. Yes. Um, and, yeah, I mean, we were rock band guys. We were, well, yeah, this was this came out before Rock Band. Right. Because uh, this was still made by Harmonix before Harmonix uh, teamed up with MTV and EA to make Rock Band. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's why I feel like this was the last of the pure Guitar Hero games. This was the original creators still doing it. Uh, and then they all they both went their separate ways. Harmonix, because they were the software company who actually like made the game, were able to take what they learned and put it into Rock Band, whereas Red Octane were just the hardware company. Their hardware was better. Like the, the Guitar Hero guitars were leaps and bounds better than the Rock Band guitars, but the games were suffering because they weren't being made by Rhythm Game Studios. They were being made by... The Tony Hawk Studio. Uh, Stephanie in the chat says, "What old games does the new guitar that just came out work with?" They're talking about the Riff Master. Yes. By PDP. Yes. 
and uh, that uh i forgot i it's, that, it, it's made for uh fortnite yes uh festival which is their way to make a rhythm game within fortnite yes however it does not work yet with Fortnite Festival. Right. Because they haven't allowed X input to work with Fortnite right. Festival yet, supposedly. It will, it does work with Rock Band 4, which is the most recent rock band that came out. And I believe that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think it works with anything, really. Yeah. Um, right now, it's pretty difficult to get yourself a guitar and actually play any of these games. Yeah. Uh, there's also Clone Hero, which most people who are actual like diehard fans of these sorts of rhythm games, yeah, have picked up Clone Hero, yeah, because uh, it's just an easy way to get all of the songs in one thing. Not exactly legal because you are downloading songs off the yeah. internet and putting them all into your Clone Hero thing. Uh-huh. It's not as great as I would have liked. I set it up with Hannah because she wanted to play it, yeah, um, and she set up all the songs and stuff, but. Uh, it's not, not as nice as Guitar Hero is. Guitar Hero yeah, has like the, you know the band playing and stuff. The Clone Hero is literally just a black background, and yeah. it's actually difficult to. I thought it'd be a lot easier to mod, and it's really not. Yeah. Um. And one of the big issues that we have is you can download packs of of songs from Guitar Hero One, Guitar Hero Two. Mm-hmm. Uh, rock band all of that and we got all of them yeah all of the like guitar hero one to three and rock band one to four all the Mm -hmm. songs and the issue is that the original rock band uh, the original guitar heroes have all covers yeah and these packs of songs that you download for clone hero give you the, the guitar hero version and the actual song right so there's an issue with ours where it plays both at the same time <laughs> and they're not exactly in time with each other. Right. One might be a little off. Yeah. So it gets worse and worse as you play. Yeah. And it sounds terrible. Which and is, unfortunately, a lot of them are covers, so a lot of them are broken. Which is interesting that you say that because like the covers that they did for the Guitar Hero games with like one or two exceptions were really good covers. I've never listened to them on top of each other yeah but like if i heard the cover like i'm i'm thinking to it right now like the cover that they use for like danzig's mother or uh spinal tap tonight i'm gonna rock you tonight or uh you really got me by van halen like those sound like the actual song no they did a really good yeah. job but a lot of them you're like something's off and i don't like yeah. it <laughs> like i can specifically say i can pinpoint the nirvana cover heart shaped box i remember that dude does not sound like Kurt Cobain. yeah so that breaks the immersion a little bit yeah. but like at least the instrumentation was like as close uh as they could get i remember seeing a documentary uh i think it was for rock band but it was harmonics they said like they were so particular with how because a lot of the people who work on the game are actual musicians and have bands and would try to like, you know, and they were the ones like doing the covers. They would like watch concerts, pause the f- footage and like look at the amps to see what the amps were tuned to. And they would <laughs> buy those amps and like try to like turn the knobs to what those are yeah. live to try and replicate that sound. Like that's how like granular they got in trying to make these covers happen. Yeah. And for the most part, they all sound really good but they're yeah. still covers and you cannot uh always 100 percent capture the magic for yeah. whatever reason they got the uh bpm just a little wrong yeah and i don't i i mean to be fair i mean these are like rock songs and some yeah. of them uh aren't necessarily playing to a metronome you know yeah. so uh you're not gonna get it 100 no. percent. yeah i mean there were songs like yyz by rush and um Mirror uh, Slew by Dick Dale. Those are instrumentals. Mm-hmm. So, like, the vocals don't really matter. And, like, they sound like almost exactly like what the actual, like, you know, master recording is. Cause it's like, you know, they're instrumental. So, like, it's easier to, like, I guess, mask it than it is, like, if they tried to replicate Getty Lee's voice, you would know. Yeah. And I wonder why exactly. Whoop. I wonder why exactly that was the way to go. Like, I know it's a licensing thing, but yeah. like how much better could it have been for them to play the song themselves? I, I forgot what video I was they watching. They still have to license it. Well, 
Yeah, but the thing is, like, there's two licenses you have to pay. There's the rights to the song, and then there's the rights to the master recording. Mm -hmm. And the rights to the master recording are is what's expensive. Mm -hmm. So if they wanted the Iron Maiden version of the Trooper, they would wound up having to pay a lot of money, where if they just wanted the rights to the, to the song, the Trooper, they only have to pay a little bit of money. Okay, yeah. so uh, we played a whole lot of Guitar Hero. We did. Too. Uh, we played a lot more Rock Band. When that, yes. When that came out. But this kind of paved the way for, yes. for that. Uh, this is also, uh, as the Wikipedia page reminds me, uh, you can play co-op in this game. So you got two guitars going at the same time. Some of the songs, however, it's guitar and the second player played bass. Oh, yeah. So you got I like, still play bass. When yeah. we play Clone Hero, I pick yeah, bass. Yeah, so you got like two different experiences. And in some songs... The bass was actually much harder. And in most songs, it's way easier. Yes. But uh, I can specifically say uh, Thunder Horse by Deathlock. Um, that song on bass is substantially harder than it is on guitar. Yeah. Or like so. a Primus song or yeah. something. Oh, like yeah. I, I, I could see that. But for the most part, uh, you're only hitting one button at a time. It's yeah. Like two buttons at a time. Yeah. Now, there's so. no chords. So, so that... that, that uh, that's why I pick, and also yeah. it's rhythm. I, yeah. I'd, I'd rather have rhythm than have to noodle around. My pinkies don't work too good. Yeah, you know? mine so. like locks, which yeah, is yeah, mine locks. Yeah. That's I think that's a genetic thing. Probably yeah. my kids are screwed. Um, the Xbox 360 version also had DLC, so you can't play that shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the Xbox 360. For, I know that it did for Rock Band. I yeah. thought Rock Band was the first. Well, one it was. There wasn't a lot. Like Rock Band, the big deal about Rock Band was like. They had game. They had songs every week, and they had it for like twenty years or whatever. Uh, the three sixty version of Ro of Guitar Hero only had like, I don't know, it was like twenty songs. Like that's it, and then like goodbye. <laughs> All right, so uh, play rock, but not play. Get Clone Hero. It's yeah, like the same it's thing. It's just easier. It's I just mean, easier. honestly. Uh, if you're really into like retro rhythm game stuff and you have a PS2 or a 360 working, yeah, sure. Rock Band uh, Guitar Hero 2 is the good. hardest thing is the guitar. I've yes. seen people uh, who just use a keyboard and they hold it upside down right. and they yeah, they do they they map the, like these buttons yeah. to uh, you know the 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 colors and then yeah. the, and then you hit like the space bar. You know, you can do it where a keyboard can. Like a computer keyboard can yeah. act like like the guitar. Well, it's a it's PS2, so I feel like that might be easier and cheaper than finding like the 360 version of the guitar. The easiest thing to do is to get it on Steam or to get Clone Hero right. and just use a Obviously. keyboard. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Guys, thanks for watching the backlog. Yeah, uh, you should come to a podcast sometime. Though. And subscribe here for more backlog. Bye. Bye.